Yo guys, what's up? We are back in After Effects. So welcome to my new series, which is Effects Ideas for Your Music Video. This is the part one. So in each episode, we'll be going over like five or six effects breakdown in one video. Before we get into the video, I just wanted to say that I just launched my first pack. It is a 3D title pack, so it allows you to add some insane 3D titles to your music video. If you want to download the pack, the link will be in the description, so you can check it out. Back to the video. So without wasting any more time the first effect gonna be the crazy hit effect this effect is used by a lot of vfx artists right now so i'm probably sure you have seen that and i have this clip in my timeline this clip is from music video that i did the vfx on and so i'm gonna show you how to do it so go right where the beat hits for mine it is right here as you can see it in the waveform if i zoom it into here you can see the beat hits here i can play the song right now but you can guess by looking at my waveforms and right here you want to just split your clip and duplicate it one time and i'm gonna mute this layer so we don't have the crazy blasting audio so at the first i'm gonna pull up the scale by hitting s and hit the stopwatch in it and go a bit further and you can just increase the scale of your clip or you can also take this tool right here and put the anchor point into your artist's face and then you can start scaling up so our artist's face remains in center uh, i'm gonna increase it like that and then i'm gonna gonna easy is this keyframe i think i'm gonna extend the duration of it too and then go into graph and then go over to a value graph then make a graph like this so make some graph like this doesn't have to be exact but you get the idea and i'm gonna exit out of here and then turn on the motion blur onto it so we have some crazy motion blur also going on and then hit t to bring up your opacity and at the first frame i'm gonna put it like 50 then hit the stopwatch in the opacity go a bit further and you can increase it a little bit if you want like about here so we have this crazy echo kind of look and you can also add like a curves and then then you can play around with the shadows and the highlights oh 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 let's do this at the first frame i'm gonna put the opacity like 70 i guess and going a bit further you can decrease it to like 10 or something let's just see this yeah this looks way more cooler guys it's all about experimenting with the effects and see what you get so we have the echo almost done then we're gonna add an adjustment layer now let's just add it uh, add it in here then i'm gonna to add a s save this is from sapphire plugins so if you don't have this i really recommend installing this and follow on up with the tutorial because this plugin is insane so i recommend downloading this so let's just apply into our adjustment layer then i'm gonna set the frequency like 10 and go where the cut happens right here and just keyframe the amplitude and you can bring it up to like two or four or three anything you like and going forward few frames like two or three frames i'm gonna lower it down to zero again and going a bit further like about here and then set it to zero again then after that enable motion blur and you can add like a motion tile and set it to 200 by 200 and put it over your as sick then i'm going to easy is the keyframe go into graph and in value graph selecting one handle only make a graph like this oh man this already looks crazy then i'm gonna add a hue and saturation into the adjustment layer again then hit the stopwatch in the channel range go over to where the cuts happens and lower it down the saturation to like 60 i guess and then go forward in time like about here and just set it to zero back to zero then lastly you can add like an exposure to add the flash so i'm gonna keyframe that so i'm gonna put the amplitude to like three yeah three would work best and go a bit further set it to zero back and that's our first effect done pretty simple and easy but this effect goes really hard when the beat hits or something like that so let's just move into another effect so my second effect gone be the split screen effect i guess it's a dope effect to show a lot of footage together so i'm gonna show you how to create this so in my timeline i 
I have this three clips from Can Can music video. So I'm gonna show you. This is the first clip, and this is the next next clip. Second, I mean. And if I hide this, this is my first clip. So in the description, you will find this uh, split screen PNG. By the way, all the assets will be down below, including this PNG. So if I scale it down to like here, I'm I guess I can scale it to 50. Yeah. Now you can see the PNG have some boxes where we can put our different footage to make it a split screen so i'm gonna enable my top clip first and i'm gonna lower down the size of it and put it somewhere over here like over here you can scroll through to watch if your subject is in the middle or not i guess this is fine if you want to remove this axis footage that is showing through you can grab this rectangle tool and just mark it out in this area like this then if i hide this and enable my another layer i'm gonna put it it in bottom over here so i'm gonna scale it down scale it down a little bit more and put it somewhere around here like about here i guess yeah yeah this looks cool then i'm gonna do the same thing selecting my rectangle tool and i'm gonna max out this area then another thing that i like to do is is hit ctrl d in a keyboard to duplicate the same clip and right click go over to transform and go over to flip horizontal so it gonna flip it horizontally and i'm gonna put it over here so i guess it looks kind of cool having both clip flip and i also like to add some effect into this like i'm gonna start with cc white time so add that in after that you can add a hue and saturation and lower down the saturation to zero so we have a black and white effect then add like a noise and on check gives color noise and you can bump it up to like 10 or so and then lastly you can add like a posterized time posterized time and set it to 12 so we'll have this dope effect in one hand we have it colored and normal footage and one hand we have it black and white with all the low shutter kind of look and sorry if i sound different because i'm having cold so my voice is getting a little too weird in some cases so sorry for that and after that you can disable these two layer and i'm gonna enable the bottom layer now the last layer and then i will scale it down and i will put it in this side obviously so i'm gonna put it in here i'm gonna scale it up a little bit let me play it through to make sure it is in center yeah this is lined up so i'm gonna take my square tool again and max out in this area and now if i enable all my layer you can see i have a cool split screen but one thing i like to do is i'm gonna copy all the effect on these this layer the low shutter one copy all of this by hitting ctrl c and i will paste it in the my last over here so ctrl v to paste it yeah yeah, that looks really cool like two footage is normal and two is low shutter and black and white so yeah that's our second effect done let's move into third so my third effect gone actually be a transition so this is the reverse transition that i like to call it it is widely used right now in the music video vfx scene i'm pretty sure you probably seen it already so i'm gonna show you how to do this so we're in new comp in after effects and i have this two clip right now so i'm gonna create the transition in middle of those two clips so i'm gonna separate it like this for right now then you can import your music video or any raw files from the music video make sure it is long enough so you can reverse it and use it like a transition so i'm gonna drag it in like this over here then right click and go to time and go to time reverse so it reverse the time then right click it again go over to time and go over to time stretch make sure the value is in negative so you will achieve the reverse so i'm gonna put it like minus 10 i guess like about here then after doing that your clip will disappear <laughs> yeah so to bring back the clip into timeline you want to hit this key i don't know what it's called i'll display it in your screen so you can see just hit it and your clip will be back then you can see the clip is reversed so that's what we exactly want i'm gonna trim it at the end over here like that so to make it even better we're gonna add a rs into this so we have the crazy motion
custom blur going on and also rsmb is a plugin so it won't be by default in your after effects then you can add like a hue and saturation and lower down the saturation to zero i guess it is a bit slow for me too so i'm gonna go over to time again go over time stretch and make it like minus five or so let's see how it looks yeah i'm gonna put it over here and like that yeah this actually looks dope this way the more faster the more dope i guess <laughs> i guess it is just too long so i'm gonna bring the clip over here and trim the transition too yeah i feel the vibe so i'm gonna trim the comp to my area so you can see it better then you can add an adjustment layer and i'm gonna add a exposure into here then right away the cut happens i'm gonna bump up the exposure to like three or so and hit the stopwatch in it go few frame backward and set it to zero and go over to the middle again and go over few frame forward like about here and set it to zero so we have a quick flash and i'm gonna copy this and paste it over here too so that's our third effect done this is pretty simple and quick and also looks dope so let's just move into our another fourth effect so my second effect gonna be this crazy eye effect this actually looks really funny and really insane so i'm gonna show you how to create this i have a short clip in my timeline so the first thing you want to do is add an effect called balls so a sort of balls and add it to your clip like that and if you enable this say path visibility you see this little anchor point and a uh, ball kind of thing that you can move around so at first frame we're gonna put it in his eyes like that if it doesn't fit the eye you can just play with the radius like the horizontal radius and the vertical radius and you can also bring up the balls height if you want like 1.5 let's do it and if you see your clip now our effect is not tracked to our subject eye so we're gonna do that now over to first frame again hit the stopwatch in ball center and go frame by frame and just readjust it to the middle so it's always in the eyeball so i'm gonna do this quickly and see you guys after doing that your one eye will be done so we gonna create the same effect in another eye too so i'm gonna copy this balls effect delete all the keyframe from the copied layer and put it in another side in the another eye and start tracking it again after doing that our effect is almost done to spice it all i'm gonna add a little zoom so selecting my clip i go over to this tool and select it and put the anchor point somewhere in the middle of his eye then you can bring up your scale and hit the stopwatch in it and go a bit further like around here and you can just scale up your clip like about here and i'm gonna easy ease i'm gonna easy ease those keyframe go into graph and make a simple graph like this i guess the zoom really makes the effect pop so i guess we are done with this effect too and my result looks like this let's just move into our fifth effect which is last one of the episode so our fifth and last effect gone with this sign effect i call it jewelry shine or you can also sign it in money or something like that i guess we can also call it raise raise or sign i guess raise sounds better anyways in after effects i have this clip the rock clip without any effects so the first thing we're gonna add is gone with cc light rays yeah right here you can see cc light rays let's just add it into our clip and if we have the safe path visibility on you can see this point right here you can move it and you can create some different rays in different things like these walls or his this jewelry in his hand or something like that but for now i'm gonna create it in the, his main jewelry which is this so so i'm gonna make it like a circling around his jewelry like this so so in effect control you can also control the intensity so let's just bring it up a little bit and hit the stopwatch in center so for now i'm gonna go on for frame by frame so i'm gonna add animate it like a circle so it is orbiting around the jewelry the ray is orbiting around the jewelry something like that so so i will see you guys after that so adding a quick animation gave me this cool effect pretty easily in my opinion and you can also add other effect to pop it off so i'm gonna do that too so i'm gonna bring up the intensity a little bit more like and add an effect called cc vignette and take this anchor point kind of thing and put it on the jewelry so it focusing in our jewelry and you can also bump up the amount if you like and you can also add like a curves if you want to and give it a bit of glow and to top it off 
off you can add a adjustment layer and add like a deep glow this is a plugin too so it won't come defaultly with after effects you have to download this so i'm so i'm gonna increase the threshold of it and bring up the radius then my fifth effect looks like this so that's it for today's video guys so if you like the video hit the like button and you can hit the subscribe button to get more videos like this and part two of effects ideas are coming soon too so turn the bell notification on to get notified so see you in the next video bye